At least 25 prominent politicians from the opposition who were facing corruption charges have switched to the BJP since 2014. The reports come amid the opposition's recent allegations against the ruling BJP. But who are these leaders? What did the report reveal? And what have the opposition parties alleged? But first, let's take a look at this video. Recently, the Congress party did a press conference with a washing machine on the dais. A similar press conference was held by the Trinamool Congress, where the party workers displayed a washing machine adorned with the logo of BJP. This comes as several opposition parties have accused the BJP of being a washing machine. The opposition has also accused the central government of misusing the central agencies. The attacks escalated after the arrest of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal by the ED. On 30th of March, the Congress taunted the BJP over CPI filing a closure report against NCP leader Praful Patel. The case against Praful Patel was closed only months after the former Congress leader had joined the BJP-led NT alliance. Congress alleged that BJP's fully automatic washing machine works on the principle, join BJP, case closed. It stated that politicians accused of corruption don't face legal consequences if they quit their party and join the BJP. In fact, Congress's Pawan Khera went on to show a demonstration of a dirty t-shirt with corruption, fraud and scam written on it, going into the washing machine and a clean t-shirt with BJP Modi wash written on it coming out of the washing machine. But what do the reports suggest? Let's find out. Well, according to reports, at least 25 prominent politicians from the opposition parties facing corruption charges have switched to the BJP since 2014. This is when Narendra Modi was sworn in as Prime Minister. Out of these 25 politicians, 10 were from the Congress. Four leaders were from the NCP and Shiv Sena each. Three from Trinamool Congress, two from Telugu Desam Party and one each from the Samajwadi Party and YSRCP. Six of the politicians on the list which allegiance to the BJP in 2024 in the run-up of the Lok Sabha elections 2024. In 23 of these cases, the political move has translated into reprieve. That is, their punishment has either been cancelled or allegedly postponed. According to the media report, at least 95% of politicians against whom central investigative agencies like the CBI or ED took action after 2014 were from the opposition. According to an investigative report, out of these 25 cases, three cases have been closed so far. 20 other cases remain stalled, seemingly abandoned in the cold storage. According to the report, most of the action by the central agencies has been against politicians in Maharashtra and can be traced to the toppling of the Mahavikas Aghari government in 2022 and the subsequent splitting of the Shiv Sena and the Nationalist Congress Party. Eknath Shinde became Maharashtra's chief minister in 2022 after his faction of Shiv Sena joined hands with the BJP. Meanwhile, the Nationalist Congress Party's faction led by Ajit Pawar had also joined the BJP-led alliance. Now, recently, a case against Ajit Pawar by the Mumbai police's economic offence wing was closed in March 2024. A similar case was also filed against leaders including West Bengal leader of opposition, Shuvendu Adhikari and former Maharashtra chief minister Ashok Chavan by probe agencies before they join hands with the NDA. According to the report, Congress MP Jyoti Mirtha and former TDP MP YS Chaudhary were the only two exceptions where there has been no evidence of a let-up by the ED even after they joined the BJP. But what does CBI stand on this? The CBI has clarified that the case against the leaders was open. The CBI officials said that the agency's probes were based on evidence. As and when evidence is found, appropriate action is taken. Now, CBI officials further claim that in some cases, action is delayed for various reasons. But they are open. Amid the backdrop of the allegations, Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman's recent remark was heavily criticised by social media users. During a media conclave by Times Network, the Finance Minister was questioned about whether the party welcomes political leaders who have nine CBI cases against them, to which the BJP leader said that the party welcomes everybody. The tainted leaders joining your party, no bar. Everybody is welcome, even they are welcome with a red uh, carpet uh, rolled out for them. As I said, party is open. We welcome everybody. Everybody. Yes. Even people who have nine CBI cases against them. Party is welcoming everybody. This comes as former minister and MLA Gali Janardhan Reddy was welcomed back into the BJP. The MLA is accused in a 35,000 crore scam case. Meanwhile, 20 different cases are filed against him, including nine CBI cases. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra slammed the BJP over the move. Meanwhile, the ruling BJP is yet to respond to the opposition's allegations. What do you think about the video? Do let us know in the comments down below. 
If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to Mirror Now.